I've spent the day finishing up warping my loom. And I think I'm going to get me a little weaving in. I've got to um, thread the um, header warp onto the smaller shuttle, and I'll start with that. And then after that, I will start rug weaving. I'm kind of super excited to start this, so it's a good thing. Welcome, guys, to the world's worst cameraman production. Here we go. Today I am weaving. I got everything. Um, We're weaving. We're bobbing and weaving. Oh wait, sorry guys, not me bobbing weave. Her. No, not you bobbing weave. Sandstick boy. Alright, so this is Grandma's rug. And um, I have it almost half done. When this bobbin is gone. Whoa, that button does that. I accidentally turned off mom's camera and turned it back on with this really cool button. I didn't even know did this, guys. That's awesome. Now we're back to our regularly scheduled. <laughs> now we're back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, so this that's cool. Is a four heddle. Okay, oh, okay. I got four I got a video of this. Feet. Yep. Each foot is tied to a different. Heddle. Here we go. Down here at the bottom, there's feet. Little feet. So it's kind of like a piano. Yeah. All right. Just Thanks. in case you guys didn't know. All right, and I'm actually doing. This is called that moves. Lead. Yep, it's it beats everything down into place. Um, you can you see get it with the right, and you got it with the left. I'm not perfect at it, but that's okay because when you let off the tension, it'll actually hide away a little bit. Looks so, pretty good to me. I'm doing a one, two, and a three and four, and what that does is gives me double um, strands. I'm doing two hurdles at the same time to get the texture that I need to make it a rug. So, um. There it is. I've gotten, um, you can see it's going, it works oh, down here. I got the header. I've got the first two inches of gold. I've got two inches of the um, brown. And then I'm working my way to, um, it's supposed to be 24 inches in the center, but I'm going to have to shorten it because I miscalculated in all my calculations. And instead of it being 20 inches wide, it's going to be 27 inches wide. So that just means I need to shorten the center gold a little bit. And I'll do that just by making sure that this can go at least 12 inches. If not, I'll know how many to shorten it on the other side to make it complete. So anyway, I used the gold for the header, which is down here. <coughs> the brown really for the two in inches. The and the thing. Do what? You can't really see the header in the camera. I know. It's kind of. Let me get it real close. There we go. Now we can see it. I played with the header and it actually has one or two um, different patterns on it, but it doesn't matter as long as I repeat it in the other side. So, anyway, all right, I'm gonna get back to weaving. There goes the train. And uh, I'm gonna push this cool button again. <laughs> make it turn off. Yeah. All right, so weaving, and you probably won't see any more of this until it is done. Right? Yep. And button. Okay, so I have finished one complete rug, um, and it rolls all the way under here, and I got the full um, 34 inches out of it. So now I just have to roll this up, leave a space, and start the next one. So um, I'm super happy with the way it's come out and the way it's going. I should have enough um, on there to do the second one. If not, I will adjust. But I really like how it's coming out, and I should actually have enough left over that I might make a small rug. Who knows? 